Serenity by James Allen. Calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is the result of long and patient effort in self-control. Its presence is an indication of ripened experience and of a more than ordinary knowledge of the laws and operations of thought. As a man becomes calm in the measure that he understands himself as a thought evolved being, for such knowledge necessitates the understanding of others as a result of thought. And as he develops a right understanding and sees more and more clearly the internal relations of things by the action of cause and effect, he ceases to fuss and fume and worry and grieve and remains poised, steadfast, serene. The calm man, having learned how to govern himself, knows how to adapt himself to others. And they, in turn, reverence his spiritual strength and feel they can learn from him and rely upon him. The more tranquil a man becomes, the greater is his success, his influence, his power for good. Even the ordinary trader will find his business prosperity increase as he develops a greater self-control and equanimity. For people will always prefer to deal with a man whose demeanor is equable. The strong, calm man is always loved and revered. He is like a shade-giving tree in a thirsty land or a sheltering rock in a storm. Who does not love a tranquil heart, a sweet, tempered, balanced life? It does not matter whether it rains or shines or what changes come to those possessing these blessings, for they are always sweet, serene, and calm. That exquisite poise of character, which we call serenity, is the last lesson of culture. It is the flowering of life, the fruitage of the soul. It is precious as wisdom, more to be desired than gold. Yea, even fine gold. How insignificant mere money-seeking looks in comparison with a serene life, a life that dwells in the ocean of truth, beneath the waves, beyond the reach of the tempests, in the internal calm. How many people we know who saw their lives, who ruin all that is sweet and beautiful by explosive tempers, who destroy their poise of character, and make bad blood. It is a question whether the great majority of people do not ruin their lives and mar their happiness by lack of self-control. How few people we meet in life who are well balanced, who have that exquisite poise, which is characteristic of the Finnish character. Yes, humanity surges with uncontrolled passion is tumultuous with ungoverned grief, is blown about by anxiety and doubt. Only the wise man, only he whose thoughts are controlled and purified, makes the winds and the storms of the soul obey him. Tempest-tossed souls, wherever you may be, under whatsoever conditions ye may live, know this. In the ocean of life, the isles of blessedness are smiling and the sunny shore of your ideal waits your coming. Keep your hands firmly upon the helm of thought. In the bark of your soul reclines the commanding master. He does but sleep. Wake him. Self-control is strength. Right thought is mastery. Calmness is power. Say unto your heart, Peace. Be still.